and welcome to your brand expert tips. So I'm down the park and I've, I'm walking Bonnie and I've got my little girl and other half over in the park and I was just thinking about a conversation that I had with a friend of mine last night who's told me that he's setting up a, a new business with somebody else. And it just sparked off this these thoughts in my mind that I thought I'd share with you because by creating this new brand and he's got an idea for a range of products that are going to sit underneath this brand I just advised him that if I were him I would create the parent brand and make sure that there was an overall logo identity for the business but that I would then create sub brands of that particular logo so using the same fonts and maybe the same icon but in different colors so you can sub-brand the, the parent brand you've created for the company. So rather than just creating products underneath that main brand, I would instead create the product for the main brand and use that on the website and all the marketing materials. But then I would create sub-brands for all the products that go underneath that that he's planning to sell. And the reason for it is this. Should he decide at a later date that one of the products is selling really, really well and it could be sold to another bigger company that would spend a lot of money on buying that particular product to sell as their product range, you can sell that particular brand without having to sell the rest of the brand with it because it will already have its own identity. Now I know that Nick, you know, he's a, an incredible entrepreneur. So if you are an entrepreneur and you're planning to create products underneath the brand that you have, I would strongly advise that you do give them their own identity. Now you can use the parent brand, as I said before, and uh, you know maybe just change the colors, change the, the name of the product. So you can tell that it's part of the same range. Oh, I think there's a dog going crazy over there. Um, you can tell that it's part of the same range, but you know that it is different. So if you've built a credible brand, then those sub-brands will inherit the goodwill that you have built up in that main parent brand. But then you can actually sell it on its own later because it, you know, you've carried the characteristics and the traits and the trust and the credibility from that main brand, but you don't necessarily have to sell that main brand with it. And that's a really good tip for you if you are planning to create products and services under the brand you already have. Because should you decide that you do want to sell part of the business later on, as we did with, with our company, we built and built and built our business up and we had different... Um, assets that we built up in the company and what we did was sell some of those to a different business because we we'd grown that part of the business but it wasn't an area that we really were interested in anymore so our intention was to build it and then sell it because we sub-branded it and it wasn't sold as part of our main business it was much easier to do that because it had its own accounts it had its own product identity it was much easier for somebody else to be able to take the characteristics of that brand on and, and sell it underneath their brand the other thing that you might want to do is white label the product that you've created so you might have a really good idea or you might have created a product or a service that somebody else can apply their brand to it and sell it as if it is their own so just think about when you're creating your brand how that the the product or the service that you're building has the potential to grow to at a later date is it something that you could sell to somebody else for a great deal of money is it something that you could sell repeatedly to other people that they could put their brand on so it doesn't have the characteristic of your brand on it or is it something that's going to live and die with you so you, you just have a think about that and make sure that as you are building your brand, you're building it knowing already where that particular brand is going to land in the future. So if you've got any other questions around sub-branding, do please let me know and we'll do our best to answer them for you in the next couple of days. And other than that, I'm signing off because I'm going to go and spend some time with my family. So have a lovely evening and I'll speak to you soon. Bye-bye.